We're going to be seeing the present and the future of the sport of archery here with the junior competitors. That's true, yeah. We have some uh, great archers here shooting already at the in the uh, major tournaments like uh, the Olympics and World Championships in the senior categories, even competing right now. Um, right now we're getting set for the junior women's recurve team gold medal match, which will be pit Italy against Chinese Taipei. You just saw the women from Italy come out onto the field of play here in the Congressium in Ankara. In just a moment, we will introduce you to the three archers from Italy. They defeated the Australians this week six to nothing and then knocked off Russia five to one in the semifinals to reach this match. Shooting from left to right, that is Tatiana Andrioli on the left, Loredana Spera in the middle, and Tanya Giacchieri on the right there, of course, the coach for Team Italy. And here comes the team from Chinese Taipei. Chinese Taipei defeating France 5 to 1, and then Poland 6 0 to reach this junior women's gold medal match. And Chinese Taipei, Gummy, has really become a major player on the, uh, on the, uh, really on the stage of, yeah. of world archery. Now in both seniors and junior categories, especially right now in junior categories, they have uh, two archers that are gonna go for the gold and the bronze medal uh, separately. Um, they have a team in, um, as you can see, the recurve junior women's taking, <laughs> trying for the gold. And uh, given the scores that they had in the qualification rounds with Italy and Chinese Taipei, it's gonna be a very even match. It's gonna be very interesting to watch Chong Rongjia Ye Yu Chen and Su Zhu Ping shooting against Jacqueri, Spera, and Andrioli for Italy. So it's Italy on target number one, Chinese Taipei on target number two, and we are just about set to go here in Ankara. High fives all around, fist bumps for the Italian archers. As it appears, Tanya Jacqueri, 18 years old and ranked 99th in the world, will lead off for Team Italy. I think the average age for the uh, Chinese Taipei, Taipei team is uh, 14 years old, so. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing for them to be here. Try to think back on what you were doing when you were 14. I can remember. <laughs> I can remember as and well. It wasn't, it, it wasn't archery, no, I was not that um, <laughs> good at the time. Nine from, uh, was it Tatiana that started? That was Tanya Jacqueri, I Tanya. believe. Yeah, this is. Tatiana Andrioli, 17 years old, from Torino. And 10. ten. Yes. Just great, caught that line. Great, great form as well. And she doesn't look that, um, she doesn't look nervous or anything. And now the 20-year-old Loredana Spera, ranked 196th in the world. Nine. Nice, nice. slow, nice. deliberate nice. release. So now Chinese Taipei. That's a high shot. It's in the and it's a feeling out period to say the very least on the opening salvo of shots. True it is. Um, can't really tell much what's gonna happen from these first shots. Um, but then again, uh, given the age of these archers, this is a very probably stressful situation to be in because this is not the normal training <laughs> that they do in these kind of conditions. That's right a great down time. the middle. So after Ye Yu Chen went a little bit high, it was Su Zhu Ping striking the center of the target. And I believe this is Chong Rong Jie. And that's a 10, and we have two, uh, two arrows that the judges need to check out to make sure their their scores are there for me. So quite possibly these two teams tied up after the first three shots of this opening match here at the Indoor World Championships in Ankara, Turkey. Jacqueri. Jacqueri with six wins during her career coming into the World Championships. And now a good look at Tatiana Andrioli. Nine points. It's a little off to the left. Of course, this is a game of tens, especially when you get indoors. True. A little bit more room uh, margin for error when you're outdoors, but indoors? <laughs> if, you're, if you're not hitting those tens, um, it's going to be difficult to win, but um, many times. 
Exactly. There, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it takes time to get used to venues and uh, just get the feeling of where you're shooting, get the timing right, and also figuring out if there may be some differences in the. Yeah, yeah. Looks that good. looks good. Perhaps a ten. But given the scores that these girls had in the qualification, they're probably going to be relatively quick to figure out what the situation is like and uh, get most of the errors into the 10. From 18 meters away. Just outside. So another nine for Chinese Taipei. it back down, he has time, 10 seconds, still on the clock. Group, group, nicely. Yeah. This is part of the game as well. I mean, uh, we have qualification rounds before this, we have, where we have to shoot 60 arrows. That ranks us up into the, uh, into where we're gonna land in the shoot-offs. And uh, we can score great in those conditions because there's not that much stress uh, or nervousness uh, related to it. But these are totally different conditions, and many archers that actually compete in uh, have great qualification scores, but then do pretty badly in the match rounds. But that's, that's very, that, but that's uh, very different between people, and also very different between competitions. Because some competitions you can do really well, other competitions just the, the arrows are just just outside the line every single time. You just you don't have like, like the lucky gods with you. It is almost a night and day situation going from qualifying in that field and coming onto the field here for one of these events. The lights, the cameras, the crowd, all of that which does not exist when you're going through qualifying. Exactly, and on top of the pressure that uh, uh, it really matters what you do here. If you, if, you, if you win, you get a gold. If not, you have to go home with silver. Not for me personally, I'd, I'd like both, but if you're at that point where you already got the silver, you really want to get that gold. You get greedy, don't you? Exactly, yeah, everyone does. Long week of work Turkish for all these there. archers. Yes, and that is a good look at the Turkish team here. The Turkish squad, the junior men's recurve team, men's okay, team coming up at, after the conclusion of this women's gold medal match. Competing as they do, ladies well, so at least going to have a good day today. So according to the judges, we're tied at one apiece after the first set. The judges really being put to the task of this week. So many, so many matches going to tiebreakers. Oh yeah, it was a lot of matches going to tiebreakers and, and very exciting tiebreakers as well. Um, the Russians uh, won bronze in the uh, recurve junior women's before um, against Poland 6-2. And they won the bronze in the men's category, recurve junior men's as well. So tied up at one apiece here in the junior women's recurve gold medal match. Jacqueri appears to have caught the line. And sets the table now for her teammate, Loredana, or excuse me, Tatiana Andrioli. Whom we shall see in an individual match coming up shortly. Very close look at that first arrow from Italy. It's almost definitely out. Dai, Tatiana, forza. Spotter saying the arrow's out, the Italian team, but we'll have to wait for the judge's call. So Ms. Spera, the 20-year-old, averaging 8.4 points per oh, shot. She comes bella. up with a big shot right there, but her team really needed that lift. Yeah. It's, it's always a great feeling to get a 10 in those team competitions. So. Back to Chinese Taipei. And there is a left nine. Yeah, Yu Chen. Off to the left, straying outside that center ring. It can be so hard to hit that center ring, <laughs> especially when you have some pressure on you. 18 meters away, and that center ring, very, very, very small. Ten. That's a great ten. That's it. Finds it, though. Yeah. Ms. Chong setting up Su Juping, who will face Tatiana Andrioli in the junior women gold medal match coming up in a little bit. Taipei takes the lead. 
for now. <laughs> for the moment, subject to change. Always in this sport. Italy trailing by a point. Oh, she caught the ten yard. And Giacchetti. I think that's why I think it's so exciting to watch these. Um, And the real I think that's why I think it's so exciting to watch these match rounds because they're so good with these archers. They're all so, they're all, they're, they've all made it to the gold belt match the world championships. Match. Yeah. So Spera, who won a team gold medal in Eve two years ago in France, in the red ring. line. So a great opportunity right now for Chinese Taipei to wrap up this set and take a three to one lead in the match. Yeah, you Chen. Oh. Chen for 10. Chinese Taipei in good position right now. Chong Rong Jia, who lost a semifinal shootout to Andrioli Tatiana, six to five. Or excuse me, Tatiana Andreola. <laughs> Trying to exact some revenge here in the women's team gold medal match for the junior women. Ten, ten, ten. There you go, a string of tens for Chinese Taipei. They will take the second set. They'll claim those two set points to grab a 3-1 lead in the match. Indeed, and um, Puts the pressure on Italy because they have to either tie or win the next set because the team matches only go up to five points. First one of five points wins, so if, if uh, Chinese Taipei wins the next round, they've won the match. Five points in the team competition, six points in individual competition to determine the winner. They seem happy and positive, so that's a good thing. Cheer going up from the crowd here in the Congressium in Ankara. For Italy, I think. Yeah, I think it's from the Italian team. <laughs> so unofficially, the second set goes to the team from Chinese Taipei. Jacqueri has been just on the edge of that center ring with most of her shots. Chinese Taipei really picking it up. Three straight tens to finish that second set. They finish strong and seem to have some momentum. How much does that really matter? How much does that count in this sport? Oh, that matters a lot. If you if you lose confidence in yourself, you're going to score. Most of the time, you're going to score badly because you're not going to get well, the momentum going. You get the momentum going. If you start hitting those tens, you get the confidence for each of your shot, and you just continue hitting tens. So it's a very important thing for for you to be mentally strong in this sport. Sergio Pagni in the crowd. Yeah, he scored uh, with the highest score in compound men, 597. Uh, of course, he scored a 300 in the first round. He had a great month of February. He started off at the Vegas shoot where he was the lucky dog and came out of the lucky dog competition exactly. to win the whole thing at the, the Vegas shoot. Exactly, the first one to win the lucky dog. The lucky dog is the one that scores 899 points, one from perfect and gets in just because he's lucky. He was lucky, all right. He was also very good. Exactly, and he is very good. He was a world championship champion in 2014 indoors. Now, trying to root on his fellow countrywoman, Jacqueri. Tanya Jacqueri. 10 points for the 18 year old who was on the team that won a gold medal at the European Indoor Championships. Ten. Tatiana Andrioli with another 10. Italy picking it up. As well they can. <laughs> and need to. They really need that 10. They need, to, they need to put some pressure on Chinese Taipei right now. Loredana Spera. Eyes it. Ooh, Ooh flinches just yeah. a little bit. And, and that probably may have cost her the 10. It probably cost her the 10, but at least, at least she kept it in the line, so they didn't lose out much. That a but mental error more than anything, Gummy? Um, possibly, yes. It's probably the pressure that's being put on her. So it ma makes her. It's, it's a. Uh, basically messed with her form, so she can't actually follow through. 
All but may not be lost, though, as uh, Ye Yu Chen. They give an opening there, so. Off target, to say the least. It's actually very common in these competitions that um, once you know that you only need to win that round to win the world championships as it is now, puts a lot of pressure on you. And um, very often teams actually lose <laughs> one or two um, points because of that, There's sometimes even the world championships. Closing a deal is one of the toughest things to do, business Indeed. or in sports. Espe especially when you know that that one point really matters. If you're on the line and it's one arrow and you have to shoot a 10 to win, it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Su Xuping keeps Chinese Taipei close, but Italy now midway through this third set with a two-point lead. Eight. And Jaqueri oh, may have opened the door for Chinese Taipei to get right back into it with that eight. True. They have a couple of 10s here. They've basically... And there's a nine. It's imperative <laughs> for Italy to be shooting 10s, but Andrioli can only muster up a 9, and now they really do need a 10 from Rodana Spera. And there's the 10 they had to have. They needed it, but now some anxious moments. So Taipei needs 30 to win the set and win the world championship. So three straight 10s could do it. Ye Yu Chen. Trying to get the first Nine. one. She's not going to get it. So, now so it's definitely going to be another round. The question is, is it going to be a tie or is it going to be a, it's going to be three, four, four, two. A lot of pressure on the next two Chinese Taipei archers. They need to shoot tens, both of them, to tie this round up and avoid dropping the set. If they drop the set, they'll be tied at three all. There's another nine. So it has been decided. Italy gets two points, and we have a tie. So next round. No matter what happens on this shot by Su Juping. Well, that's a beautiful but shot. That, that's, a good, that's a good morale shot going into the next round, because you ended with a 10. Um, they lost the set, you ended it well. It's going to give you confidence in the next round. You can see on the faces of the Italian archers, they're a little bit happier than they were about three minutes ago. <laughs> they were down 3-1 facing elimination and settling so a very for a silver medal. Now they're back in the hunt, tied up three all in this gold medal match for the junior women. Now it could go either way. Um, if one of the teams wins the next round, that's the world champion. That's how close it, that's how close it is. Chinese Taipei pondering the situation right now. They had a chance to close it out, couldn't get it done. A couple of wayward shots providing the opportunity for Italy, and Italy took advantage of that. So, fourth set coming up. Could be the deciding set as you see some of the previous shots. That target 18 meters away. But you were telling me before we went on, what we're talking about that centering being how big? Uh, uh, it's four centimeters four wide. Four centimeters wide. And that line they need to uh, touch is, uh, I think, uh, I think it's one millimeter. So the winners are often decided by one millimeter or less, <laughs> just by just by who sh uh, shoots more closer to the line. A game of millimeters. Indeed, that's what we're here for. And here we go, fourth set, opening match of the World Indoor Championships here in Ankara, Turkey. Along with Gummy, I'm Carl Arkey. And wherever in this world you are, whatever time of day you're watching, we're glad to have you with us here on Archery TV. Tanya Giacchieri. Really shaking on that shot. Feeling the pressure of that. <laughs> the adrenaline really flowing now. So a little high on that shot by Giacchieri. Tatiana Andrioli, 17 years old, a double gold medalist in the 2014 Indoor World Championships in Nîmes, coming through with a 10 that her team really needed. Good shot, didn't flinch that time, shot the 10. 
We were almost waiting to see if she would flinch. Yeah, we were actually watching it. We were checking if, um, but she had it happen. She fixed it. Held got it, it going, together. held it together, got the 10. Very important 10 for them. Nine. Strong start for Chinese Taipei here in the fourth set. We're tied at three all. Winner of this set takes the match, wins the gold medal at a world championship. Ye Yu Chen with a strong start now. Chong Chong shot, Xia yeah. with a equally, good, good. well, even better shot. Yeah. And Su Zhu Ping. They have a chance to take a one point lead right now. Which would be good for Chinese Taipei to put one, a one point pressure on the Italians. And they did. That's, that's going to put a lot of pressure on the Italians. That one point may be impossible to make up once True. you fall behind. So it's very important that they hit the 10s right now just to try to put some pressure on Taipei to do match their match their score. And Tanya Jacari's had trouble finding the 10 ring so far in this match. Nine. It continues to have difficulty. I mean, what could prove to be her final shot of this match. Of course, Tatiana Andrioli is hoping that that's not the case. Or if it is, that Italy will stay in a comeback. And there's the first step towards a comeback. Right down Broadway. Laura Donna Spera. Yep, that's a great shot. Caught yeah. the line, gets the 10. An important 10 it is, so. But it may not be enough. Chinese Taipei now just needs um, two 10s and a nine to win the set, yeah, and win the world championships. That's a lot of pressure on Taipei right now. But so they need two 10s to win. Yeah, you Chen. One 10 and a nine to tie, or two nines to lose. <laughs> All sorts of combinations right here. Chung Rongjia, who, as we mentioned, a lost a semifinal shootout to Tatiana Andrioli. Comes up with a nine, and now they have to have a ten to at least split. Split the set, yeah, and continue this match. All the pressure on Suju Ping. Oh, she got it. through <laughs> under the gun, and if she comes through and delivers. With that has to feel great. Wow, with Chinese that shot. Taipei absolutely positively had to have it. They got it. So they split that set. Each team receives one more point, and we're tied up at four all after four sets. Great match to start off the Indoor World Championships here on Archery TV. It is. It's very even as well. Brought to you by Hyundai, Sport Toto, Fila, Turkish Airlines, and Longji. At only 13 years old with the weight of the world on her shoulders and she made the shot, that's, a, that's, a that's got to be a great feeling to have. And, and that's what we were talking about when we came on today, the fact that we were seeing the present and the future of this sport. I mean, we're going to yeah, be sure. seeing you would think we're, these we're, arches we're, for quite some time to come. We're, we're seeing them now at 13 and 14. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing them at 20. <laughs> or when they leave the juniors category at 21. Look at the determination. Not giving in. Loredana Spera strong with her final shot as well. Barra, 20 years old. Jacqueri, 18. Andrioli, 17 years of age. As you said, the Chinese Taipei, a team made up of youngsters who are even younger. And they're in it right now, right in the thick of it in this gold medal match. Recurve junior women's team after four sets tied up at four all. We're tied after the first set. Now we're tied after the fourth set, and this is the last. This is for all the marbles, as we say in the States. The team that wins this round wins the world championship. If they're tied, we go to a one arrow, well, three arrow shoot off, <laughs> one arrow per archer. Ten. 
Chuck Kennedy opens with a 10. Oh, it's a, yeah. Her best shot so far of the day comes at a critical time. Alternating back and forth between the teams now. Nine. The Italians have the age and the experience. <laughs> and they've got the advantage right now, up by one. Andrioli. Ten. Oh, that's a good ten. Pair of tens for Italy. <laughs> They're sitting pretty right now. Chinese Taipei trying to stay within one. She really needs that 10 right now. Chong Rong Jia outside the 10 ring. They fall behind by two. So Italy can win it with a nine right now. That would put the match out of reach. Loredana Spera, you can see her trying to gather herself. Got it. <laughs> and there's a shot that's good as gold. <laughs> and Italy has done it. The final shot right here. Su Xu Ping. Just outside the 10 ring, but it was all academic coming. It was going to be yeah. Italy's gold medal Italy. after Italy. an excellent, excellent set to close it out. And even even if Chinese type had, had three tens on that, she almost hit the dead center of the target. So if it would have gone to the call, Italy probably would have won either way. So Chinese Taipei should be very really, very proud of the fact that they made it this far. And with this younger team, we're definitely going to see more of them in the future. So a great match to get the party started here in Ankara, Turkey, at the Indoor World Championships of World Archery. And three very, very, very happy young ladies from Italy. Loredana Spera on the left, Tatiana Andrioli in the middle, and Tanya Jacchieri on the right. They were down 3-1 after the second set, battled back, tied it up after the third set at 3-all, split the fourth set to remain tied, took it to the fifth set, and took control of the match with three straight tens. Great match, and they defended the world title from 2014. They were world championships in the recurve junior women's and uh, at Nimes in 2013, the last world championships, as well as the European championships last year. So it is a really strong team. So an excellent performance, great composure. Italy wavering a little bit in that second set, but able to regroup.